afternoon, everybody. Wow. Um, I took my hat off to film this because I'm about to go outside. Today is Monday. I just finished work. I work at Klarna. Hashtag represent. And um, we're working from home right now because of COVID. So I just got done working. It's about 4.20. And it's usually when I get done between 4 and 5. And... I started my period yesterday and I tried to film this video yesterday but when I went to the gym there was a hell of a lot of people there so I didn't film it. But I'm gonna try again today. This video is all about how to work out on your period even though you don't want to. And today is way worse than yesterday so it's probably better that I'm filming this today. I have the worst cramps in the freaking world right now. Actually, I've had worse, but they're not fun. Cramps are never fun. If you're a girl and you're watching this video, you probably understand. This is my fish, literally. Her name is Addie Fish. She's a good girl. You see, I'm a good girl. I have a Zozo too. She's a good girl too. But today, I've had really bad cramps, and right now, I do not want to go to the gym. I know I need to, and it'll make me feel better. So, we're going to try this again today. So this is a long enough intro. My first tip, go for a walk, get outside. Even though it's winter and it's cold, do it. Plus, I always feel bad going to the gym when I have to leave these dogs at home. So this makes me feel less guilty. So I'll see you outside. tip is it's probably contradictory to depending on what time of day it is but have a warm drink with caffeine because well I've actually heard caffeine's not good for cramps but it helps wake me up and just kind of gives me a burst of energy so I got Starbucks earlier today and I'm really bad at drinking coffee right away and like all at once so I still have mine from earlier today, so I'm gonna finish that. So yeah, tip number two, drink your coffee. Um, also, if I'm ever feeling like I, like I used to not drink caffeine um, at the beginning of 2020, and what I was doing was I would have like a decaf tea. Uh, it kind of gave me that feeling of caffeine, but it was like a placebo effect almost. Um, so have a decaf tea. I also have these electrolyte drinks that I'll drink. Just something, drink something other than water because you should be drinking water all day. So kind of get your body like hyped up with something. So that's what my second tip is. Third tip, get yourself ready. I am just kind of person, I don't like to lounge around all day. So I'm already mostly ready. I already had makeup on and did my hair earlier. But before I go to the gym, I know this sounds so silly. I like to actually get ready, like, my hair, if my hair is bad, I don't have a good time. So, I like to just go over it with a straightener, and trust me, when you're on your period, if you don't feel cute, you're not going to feel good. So, um, just feel your best, if feeling best without makeup and your hair ratty makes you feel good, do that. So, say you were working all day and you had makeup on, and say that makes you feel super gross, get unready, make yourself feel good, whatever that is feel confident so like when i'm confident my hair is done i got a little bit of mascara on and a cute outfit so i always wear all black i have lululemon leggings on an oversized sweatshirt i've been working out in sweatshirts just because i like the heat there's been a lot of people at the gym lately and they put the gym at like freezing cold i'm the person that puts the thermostat up to like 80. don't tell anybody that but just kidding it's like 70s I just like to get a good sweat and especially in the winter I feel like it's hard for me to get a good sweat when it's cold because I don't want to start moving but as soon as I get in there and I'm like already warm I'm ready to move so anyways get comfortable get in whatever if that's crop top do you it's not me yet I need to get the, those abs first that is my tip number three okay we're on our number four Fourth tip, I know you're probably like, oh, she's driving to the gym. No, I'm at the grocery store. So my fourth tip is to get your tasks done for the day. So 
when I'm working, I work all day. I get that done with and over with for the day. That's my number one task is do anything Klarna during the day. Obviously, when everyone else is working. Number two, I like to do... Sometimes I'll go straight to the gym if I don't really have much to do that night. But today, I actually have a couple grocery runs to go to. So I need to go to Costco and get our staples. And then I need to run to either Trader Joe's or Kroger and grab some produce before I went in with my mask on where you couldn't hear me and that I explain out here in the car. Do your important errands before everything closes, obviously. And it kind of gets you hype because then, I know some people will get tired over this. This is just my opinion when you're on your period. I, I need to have everything done with so that when I'm, my excuse can't be when it's time to go to the gym. Oh wait, I needed to do my groceries. Oh wait, I need to do my laundry. If I had those excuses and didn't get them done with, um, when I go to the gym, I'm going to be like, oh, I don't need to work. I need to do the groceries, blah, blah, blah. So I do them so I don't have that excuse. And my only excuse is to work out. So take the excuses out and just get them done with. Okay. Here we go. So I have to drop this off. I have no idea that's the right area so it's that the reason i'm gonna do this because it's right on the dot yeah it's 559 i don't even know if they're gonna open up these doors here we go thank you so i guess i can drop it off there it's the same thing collection items i hope <laughs> if you're my poshmark shopper i'm so sorry <laughs> Number five, snack. Make sure you eat before you go. Um, I'm on my way home from the grocery runs, all my things. I'm gonna snack on my way home um, because when I'm on my period and I work out on an empty stomach and with cramps, it just both sucks. So I like to have something and I haven't had anything since lunch, which was around like two. So it's six now. I'm gonna have this on my way home, put the groceries away. I got a rotisserie chicken for dinner, so I'm gonna um, shred that and get that all ready for us. Cause Bailey will be home around nine, which is perfect timing. Cause I'll be hungry for dinner after my workout. And yeah, so have a snack. Hey guys, I'm at my workout. Finally made it. I just said a couple sets of warm ups, but I thought I'd come on here. There was a girl in here, so I didn't feel comfortable filming. Um, but anyways, I thought I would come on here and give my final tip to getting to the gym and working out on your period. So number six, incorporate an ab workout between every set. So whether that be a plank, a set of push-ups, some crunches, doing core workouts during your workout or just like even tightening up your core makes your cramps feel so good um that sounded really perverted um <laughs> your cramps will literally diminish while you're working out if you incorporate your core um at least in my experience they do so like right now i'm doing chest presses so i'll do I do 10 like this with my elbows in, and then I adjust my hands a little wider and then do out for five. And then after that, instead of just resting, I go ahead and I grab the back of here and I do my leg lifts. And I really incorporate my core in 15 of those. And I kid you not, I'm working out and right before I came here, I was not feeling like working out and started incorporating the core and boom, I'm better. I feel like my normal, not PMS self. That is it guys. I'm gonna end the video here at the gym. All I'm gonna do when I get home is relax, eat some food, cause eating food feels really good. And yeah, make sure you stay hydrated. That's just like key in general. Everyone reads that online, so. Yeah, I'm gonna peace out. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you learned some tips and tricks on working out while you're on your period. And if you guys have any comments, questions, leave them down below. Hit that subscribe button.
Follow me on Instagram. Bye, guys.